by the time you see this, it'll be Saturday or later, but happy Friday. It is Friday. Surprisingly enough, six minutes before 9 a.m., I am finished editing the vlog. It is doing its thing right now. I'm going to upload it, take a shower, and get the hell out of here. I have things to do today. I have to go to the mailbox. I have to go down and talk to the office because they're not receiving my big box of hats that I'm waiting for. I don't know what's going on. There's always a problem. Um, what else? There was something I was just going to tell. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Brandy. Uh, in Ohio who just hit a one of her goals for health and fitness so she ordered herself a, a, a tank top um, from Trooper Wear as a reward thanks for that thanks for watching my videos and congratulations and keep going and I'm spilling coffee everywhere there's a small part of me that is over the sit and goes there's another part of me that says you know what you set out to do this, so follow through. Just keep going. The thing is, is that the way this shit works is that suddenly there's a few days where you just win everything. And that's where the money comes from. I'm up almost $1,100. I had a plan in my head to play 125s and 175s until I got to a certain level, then play mostly 275s. Um, I think about what I've done in each of these weeks. You know, I think about that in the first week, it was, I was kind of bananas. It was like every last longer, every heads up last longer offer that was spoken out of someone's mouth, I, I jumped on it. It was my best week, but is that a big enough sample to even consider that? I mean, I was kind of doing that week too as well. What I guess I could say is I think I have about four 125s and four 175s maybe already purchased in tickets. I have no lammers at the moment. I've sold them all. I mean, it doesn't really, it's all the same. I mean, if you win, you win. I want to control the downside, but at the same time, if you try too hard to control the downside, then you're limiting your upside and the upside is going to come at random times, right? But I don't know. The whole thing is, is that the whole World Series is what? Is it six weeks? Is it seven weeks? I don't know. We've already been through three weeks. You can't play, well, I don't intend to play single tables till the very last day because I don't want to be stuck with lammers. I mean, I would generally play until there's a week and a half or two left. So I think that allows for me to go ahead and finish this week anyway and maybe next week. But at a certain point, you have to cut it off. In some places, the single table satellites pay cash. If these paid cash, then we wouldn't worry about that so much. But anyway, I guess the point is, I feel a little bit over it. I feel like just quitting and scooping up the 1100 and switching back to cash games, or maybe doing other random things, a tournament here and there, I don't know. Who wants to really, I don't really want to do that, so. I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and complete this week and see what see how things look after the 25th. Do a little Starbucks breakfast action today. Friday, Friday, da, da, <laughs> am I right? Oh yeah. Series of Jokers. I said it. 
All right, it's 11.30. That's just the way it is on Fridays. Trooper Thursday, out late, er, get up, edit the vlog, here we are. My count was off. I have five 125s and two 175s in my pocket. So, we're gonna try to play those before we buy any more. All right, I've played one game so far. I went out third. I shouldn't have. Being that I'm human, self-doubt is a real thing. Not gonna lie, I am discouraged. So I uh, just lost a flip to go out of the second game. It doesn't bother me. It's pretty standard. I had queen jack against pocket eights pre-flop. And um, you know, Still discouraged. I was discouraged before that game started. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. By the way, a lot of people are asking me to do a lot of things. I hope no one's offended. Um, and by the way, it's not just people that I don't know, people who watch the vlog, but it's also people that I do know wanting me to go eat this or go have coffee there or all this stuff. I don't know. I know everyone doesn't watch all the vlogs, but um, I don't have time for any of that stuff, even if I wanted to, you know what I mean? Because I have set off on this uh, mission for the World Series of Poker. There's no time, I know that, that unless you've made YouTube videos, more than one, more than 10, uh, I have more than a thousand videos on YouTube that are live. There are also a bunch of videos. The point is, is that unless you do it, unless from the time you wake up every day until the time you go to sleep every night, every minute of every day is about making a YouTube video and then squeezing in between five and eight hours of single table satellites nonstop and everything else involved, then you can't possibly understand what it what it is or what it's like so I don't really expect people to understand I hope that no one is offended though that I don't go here for coffee or go there for for whatever do you know what I mean like and I just don't have time right I can either make the YouTube videos or I can't it's one of the two I either make them or I don't make them I choose make them and I actually just got a message from someone who um, was telling me what my videos did for her today. And, you know, it gives me a, a deeper reason to keep making them, you know? And I'm gonna keep making them. But the thing is, I know that there are a lot of people who get something from the videos. I don't think about it every minute of every day but when it does come up and someone mentions it, it feels really good that I lived a day and created a vlog that can distract someone from something in their life or motivate someone or inspire or entertain or any of that stuff. So day in and day out. None of this is a complaint. It's an explanation as to why I can't always go all these places and do all these things. But I appreciate it. I know why people are like, yo, I really wanted you to, you know, I really want you to come get a coffee or, or whatever. Even people that I know, people like, you know, that I personally know and have known forever, especially right now during the World Series, which by the way, Today, I'm already like super discouraged. And I'm just like, man, is it even worth it? Like, self-doubt. Yes, if my ROI is what I think it should be, if my hourly is what I think it should be, then yeah, it's worth it. But shit, man. Anyway, my next game is working on filling up. It's not super busy in the satellite area today, but it's better than Wednesday was. 
So what do you do? It's like 1.30 p.m. I go get in another one and see what happens. All right, so here's the situation. First of all, obviously pocket kings are no good for me. Every single time I get it in with kings pre-flop, I lose. I just got it in with kings to ace deuce, I lose. Then the way I get busted out of that game is I'm forced to call. I'm forced to put all my money in from the big blind with ace jack because I have six big blinds and the guy has kings and of course I'm never winning with ace jack all in preflop to kings or ace anything. That's just the way it goes. You would think that at some point, I don't know, I'm just fucking pissed because there are people in that game right now that are literally limping in under the gun with for 200 chips when they have 800 limping in with queen 10 under the gun five-handed with five big blinds the dumbest thing that you could ever even do so to be completely honest with you i just don't want to look at it anymore right now i don't want to play it's 3 30 in the p.m and you know as i think about it i mean i've been trying to push myself really hard since the world series started to try to accomplish something and i'm not saying that that's over or that i'm gonna quit but today, I'm quitting an hour and a half, two hours early because of one reason and one reason only. And that reason is this. I have worked to become the boss, my boss, the boss of me. I do what I want when I want. I've worked very hard to achieve this level of freedom. And I don't have the kind of freedom that some people might have if they have, you know, 5 million subscribers on YouTube doing daily videos, I would have a different kind of freedom. But I do have the kind of freedom that allows me to decide at 3.45 today that I don't want to play any more sit and goes. I'm not in the mood for it. I don't want to look at it. I tried to tough it out through the last game. I wanted to leave before that one, but I sat down and I played. And guess what? I got all in with Kings against Ace Deuce. That pot would have made a difference a big difference in that game and then I just had to get had to get it in with ace jack to get against kings so of course I can't get lucky that's just the way it goes I'm not complaining about that I don't give a shit whatever happens happens I can't control those things but what I can control is whether or not I sit through it for another two hours today and I don't want to do it I don't want to do it so I'm leaving I mean I could do a lot of things. I could go on tilt and go to the blackjack table and lose all my money. I could go drink, I could go use drugs, I could go to the club, I could go to the strip club. I could do, how you doing? Where you going? I could do a lot of really dumb things, but I don't do that shit, right? All I'm gonna do is go home, take a shower, get some food, edit the vlog, go through email which is something I have to do every morning and every night and, and that's it you know what I mean I'm just not gonna play any more sit and goes today that's it so if I decide that I don't want to play them tomorrow I'm not gonna play them tomorrow either I'll make that decision tomorrow if I have any slight doubt before I get to the Rio tomorrow that I don't really want to play or if I don't know if I want to play then I'm not gonna play What's up, yo? It is nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I came home last night, took a shower, ate a very healthy dinner of potato chips. It's true. And then I vegged out. I like on the couch, Netflix, watched like a bunch of stuff on Netflix. And then I went to sleep, but I didn't even go to sleep until midnight. So like, I was just like, you know what? F everything I'm doing. I'm just not, I don't care. I'm just gonna 
zone out. So I did. Sort of like decompressing, I guess. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why I was so frustrated yesterday. I haven't even done the fuck. I haven't even done this. We'll get around to it. I mean, I can tell you, I played four games. I busted all of them. And, oh, this damn app just updated. And, let's have a look. You bastard. Uh, I mean, minus 175, 125, 165, and 125. I mean, it was just all minuses. Four little minuses. So the bankroll is 3505. We can update that. 3505 is the bankroll, right? So I have, we'll just put a 3505 right there. Why not? I, this is a short term thing. The variance has been brutal for me in this. Um, you know, I have three entries that I've already bought that I have to play because I bought them with buy-in chips. I'm not saying I'm quitting. I'm just saying, I, you know, like, come on, man. Like, I'm kind of getting, like, over it a little bit. But here's this thing. Every time I think about, like, you know what? Forget that. Let's just, let's change courses for the rest of the World Series. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be frustrating as hell to do this because... The odds are I'm going to bust out. But what if I played a tournament or two? What about at the Golden Nugget? Where, you know, I think those tournaments are really good, probably. Or what if, like, I don't know. What if I just played, I'm just saying, but every time I think like that, I think about, I think about that meme. I don't know if I can find it anywhere, but one of them, the guy's still going, and one of them, the guy has turned away, and he's walking away, and he's like this close to hitting it. So like, I think like that, like, what if, uh, what if the next day I play is the day that I win four and I'm up like 6K or something? I mean, who knows? You just don't know. The thing is, I took 3K, put it to the side. I'm like, this is the, gonna be the role that I'm gonna try to turn into something in sit and goes. And now I'm at 3505. We're heading back towards 3K again and it sucks. And I'm like, well, the closer we get to the end of the WSOP, the less I want to invest money into single tables because we're getting closer and closer to the end, right? The damn thing is only what, six weeks? We're almost through four. That's the whole thing. So anyway, I don't know. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is, is that I'm drinking coffee. I'm gonna edit the vlog. I'm gonna roll out of here. Today is Saturday. A lot of times on Saturday, they don't have enough tables and there's long lines and shit. Maybe I'll just take today off from sit and goes. Whatever. That's all different. That's a whole nother vlog. This is the end of Friday. So remember, if you like my videos, click the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends about the videos and leave a comment down below. Make sure you tune in tomorrow so you can see what I decided to do with today and what we're going to do about this situation right here. I'll see you next time.